how's the transition gone for you so far? Uh, it's been great. It's been great, been awesome getting out here, practicing. Um, the guys are getting better every day, uh, getting more familiar with the terminology and the language and how we call things and just just our expectation level, you know, the standard that we set for how we come out here every day and competing, making plays, playing hard. So uh, it's been it's been awesome. You worked with Jed previously. Yeah. How, how much has that helped your transition here? Uh, it's helped a lot. I mean, mm -hmm. coming in for me, it was it was seamless. Uh, and knowing, again, the expectation level, most importantly, and, and the standard that we have for all the players. And obviously, from an X and O standpoint, too, as well, just having, uh, you know, being comfortable and all that, being able to teach it from day one with the players um, was, was great. Drops, obviously, was an issue last season for the receivers. How have you kind of address that going forward? Just going back to focusing on technique, you know, mm -hmm. technique and, and working ball drills every day and making sure their eyes are right, um, catching the front half of the football, um, just really focusing on that, you know, making sure their their eyes, their focus, uh, drills, every drill that we do, uh, you know, should incorporate a ball, um, making sure we're getting some distraction drills in there where, you know, trying to mess with their concentration and focus and, and making sure that they, uh, like I said, just, just really have that complete focus on the football and, and focus on the catch first before they do anything with it. Is there a specific mindset that you want your receivers to have? Um, I mean, I just want them to be confident, go out there and play confident all the time, um, know their assignment when they know what to do and they play and they, you know, they know all the ins and outs of the plays and the techniques, they're going to go out there and they're going to play well. They all have talent, you know, I have a bunch of talented guys in my group. Now it's just a matter of, you know, ironing out the wrinkles uh, or learning the plays and the techniques just a little bit better and then going out there and playing fast, playing with confidence, playing with toughness, you know, in the run game, making sure we're blocking and uh, doing a great job with our effort always. Uh, be the first thing that we always critique is their effort. But all those things, you know, being, being playmakers, um, like I said, playing with great effort, playing with toughness, all those things. Who's, who's kind of stood out to you? Um, a lot of guys right now, so it's, it's, it's been nice. Um, you know, Eldridge, Massington's really had a nice camp so far. Uh, ABD, Alex Van Dyke's had a nice camp. Um, Theo Howard, um, uh, Jordan Lasley, uh, Audie's, you know, had his moments here and there. Um, you know, Felton, Demetri Felton's had a nice camp so far. There's been, you know, seven, eight, nine guys that, uh, that have been able to rotate in there with the ones and twos and, and not miss, you know, much of a beat. So it's been nice. And that's, you know, kind of what spring should be about, you know, developing players and developing your depth. You know, obviously, this is our first spring in this offense. So there are some scheme things involved and getting guys comfortable in our play calls and whatnot. But, um, you know, just developing that depth and, and getting guys that can go in there and play because you never know what can happen in a season. Do you like a tight? receiver rotation or do you like a lot of guys coming in on games uh once we get to the season yeah obviously we'll we'll pare it down and we'll we'll find the best guys uh, to go out there and play on game days uh, typically in the season you know four or five deep is, is typically what we'll look for um, you know there'll be some guys that you know we'll be able to to get in there and isolate on certain plays that you know maybe they'll have a tighter package you know if they do something uh, a little bit better than the other guys, but typically that's what it gets down to, about four or five guys in the season. But like I said, right now, it's the more guys, the better they can play, and then it'll all sort itself out as we get going. When you join a new program, uh, how much do you familiarize yourself with you know, what they did last year just to kind of know what you have to work with? Yeah, um, it's a good question. I mean, when I first got here, I didn't want to just dive into the tape right away to, to have any preconceived notions before I really got to know the guys. So, be around them in the meeting rooms. Obviously, before we came out here in practice, it was all meeting room based. Um, you do take a peek at it, you know, just to kind of know some of the past, some of the history, some of the issues maybe that are out there and, and try to address those and get better at it. You, know, you just can't just turn a blind, blind eye to it. But, uh, you know, at the same time, you know, it's a fresh start. It's a fresh start for all the guys and they knew that we made that clear to them. And it's it's based on, on merit. You know, it's based on what we see every day and, and uh, you know the guys that can consistently do it right, and the reliable guys on the on the field in the classroom, all those different things, will be the guys that we that we go with. So, Coach Fraley said last year um, he looked at the film from not only the games but the spring camp and the fall camp as well sure. to evaluate the guys who didn't get into the game. Did yeah. you do that to make up for you know the lack of tape on some of the other backup receivers? Or no? Yeah, yeah. Like I said, you know it's not something I dove into right away, right off the bat, because yeah. I wanted to form my own opinions on guys, but. Um, but yeah, I went back and watched some spring balls and fall camp just to get 
to gather more data, you know, just gather more information on, on certain guys and again, more or less, just to maybe look at some of the issues that have happened in the past and, and try to correct them. Great.